Welcome everybody to East Africa's first floating bridge here in Mombasa, Kenya. The cool thing about a floating bridge, you can see the meters over there and uh, of course the bridge can lift itself when the water is higher. Here is the beautiful project of the floating bridge. As you can see, what is interesting is that they have a part in the middle that is completely movable. And this happens, they open it up only when there is a boat that needs to pass. The floating part is 241 meters. And here you have the data for all the other interesting things. And if you would like to read it, just pause the video. Sante sana. As you guys can imagine, the first part of the bridge is totally cemented. And then over there it will start the floating part. In the meantime you can check the Likoni channel. And uh, it is estimated that uh, over 300,000 people and uh, 6,000 vehicles cross this channel every day. Therefore, building this bridge was totally, totally important for the future of the city. Before, the only way to cross this channel was through a ferry, but now we do have the floating bridge. As you can see, the cemented part ends there. And we are actually walking on this uh, <laughs> incredible structure. What is uh, super interesting to me it is that uh, this is a temporary project uh, in the meaning that it is a temporary bridge because uh, they are gonna build a super expensive one almost two billion dollars exactly here along this channel but in the meantime they were like uh, we need uh, to cut off with all this traffic uh, we need uh, to let people cross the bridge uh, even without the ferry the city is expanding a lot Mombasa Island is connecting uh, to Montasa land <laughs> therefore all these people they need to cross to go inside the city every day to go work or go work outside the city and uh, we need to make uh, a very easy way for them to cross it uh, without waiting for the ferries and uh, now we have this beautiful result as you guys uh, can see from the writings uh, this bridge was built by a Chinese company the cost was about 17 million dollars I know it's temporary it seems expensive for a temporary thing but uh, it's gonna require lots of time to build the actual full-time bridge and uh, well uh, if you would like to see amazing projects and infrastructures about uh, Chinese companies in China, there is a channel I do suggest you, it's called Reporter 5 Media, he is a great friend of mine, go check it and subscribe to him and let him know that uh, you came to his channel through watching my video. Thank you so much. So right now we are leaving the standing part and we are approaching moving part. When the bridge moves it will open up in that direction and will stay still for a while. The only downside of this moving part is that uh, when there is a boat that needs to pass and uh, it has no other way to pass through this channel it will uh, require at least one hour to open it up completely let the boat pass and close it again so if you are here on a very unlucky day you will be stuck here waiting for one hour admiring this beauty approaching the indian ocean hello being a floating bridge it has some donuts Unfortunately, we cannot buy them, but they look pretty cool and new. Of course, the bridge just opened and uh, we missed the inauguration for a couple of days. Huh? Nice to meet you. Yes. Dee met a construction worker, so uh, she's shooting a very cool vlog. You're gonna see on her channel in the next days. Gosh, she stole that my vlog idea. <laughs> the mechanism is very, very simple. Uh, the extraction are in Chinese, of course, <laughs> and uh, well, you just turn the wheel, uh, you open up the bridge, you let the thing, uh, <laughs> you let the ferries or the boats pass, and that's it. Why do you want to be in the video? <laughs> no, I just like it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, spoiled girl. You got me spoiled girl. Yeah, you got so lucky. I'm so lucky. Yes. Why? <laughs> you got all the right infos. <laughs> I'm ever liked by people wherever I go people are like really willing to help me out on yeah. things and I just thank God for that because you it's know, not normal <laughs> it's not normal life for girls it's way too easy yeah <laughs> you get attracted with everybody around <laughs> yeah wow yeah. 
The next time uh, so I, should find, a... I should find a female construction worker. <laughs> they are very hard to find because they usually males do these jobs, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe one day I will be lucky too. <laughs> anyway, you already like it, you know? So is there something like this in Italy? Nothing? Yes. None? Actually, uh -huh. no, you're accusing me like this, but the first people that actually used the floating bridges, okay. they were in ancient Rome, uh -huh. and if you needed to cross the river, uh -huh. uh, you will go to conquer the other land. Uh -huh. So in Italy, we have floating bridges for 2,000 years. Uh -huh. okay, Before okay, you speak okay. and tell me such stuff, that, oh, you have something like that in Italy. It's 2,000 years that we have floating bridges. <laughs> 2,000 years? Yes. We had them already. Yeah, we were doing them with the boats. So they, they were connecting all the boats, mm -hmm. they were making like a bridge of boats mm -hmm. and then the army So let me give you a, bit of, a little bit of history from what I was told. They have floaters, you know this bridge is just floating but it has supporters Yes. now which make it to float. And they're basically, uh, there are actually 11 of them which make this bridge to float. Here there's none, they're just close yes. to the center. Yes. Yeah, maybe if, uh, as we got this one. <laughs> yes. You got an entire architect for yourself. <laughs> and also he gave me his phone number. <laughs> <laughs> you see, guys? <laughs> you see what? <laughs> Good job. Being a girl is way too easy in this life. Yes. Not too way easy, but it's kind of an added advantage, you know? Yeah, especially on YouTube. <laughs> No, you lie. <laughs> I need to be spiritually hard work. I want to check that villa. Can you guys go check on my YouTube channel, DM Wango. He never gives me a shout out. So let me shout out myself. Can you go subscribe, okay? <laughs> yeah, in the meantime, I want to go check that villa over there on the beach. It seems pretty old and nice. What I really like about Mombasa is that every building is actually super old. It has been here for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And it kind of reminds me of my home. By the way, guys, if you didn't know it, my surname, Ponte, means bridge. I left you. You left me for the construction work. I didn't leave you. You went for him and his number. No, you left me. If I anyway, he left me and no, I was no, alone, no, then no, I no. found a new cash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's not so a new cash. Here, that's where the bridge ends. And here is the beach, not so colorful. The Indian but, Ocean. But I want to go over there on that villa. Are you sure you want to go there? Yeah, let, let's check Where if it's we... possible. Oh, you want to be featured in K24? Do yeah. you want to be featured? You make more views than that. <laughs> so, here is the cemented part that they are building. And that connects perfectly to Mombasa land, not Mombasa island. There's no way you can talk, maybe... Maybe there is a way. So you see over here, I don't know if they were colonial villas or Portuguese villas, but they really do remind me of home. So I'm gonna try to get inside one. Probably they are building this cemetery. Hello. What a machine, super huge to build such a road that will connect everybody to the bridge. So the bridge is ready, but the road... <laughs>